12. Would that in your quiet time you would take time to read text in its entirety? Verse 12. And she said, As the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake, but a handful of meal in a barrel, uh -huh. and a little oil in a cruise. And behold, I am gathering two sticks that I may go in and dress it for me and my son, that we may eat it and die. Can I read it again? And she said, as the Lord God liveth, I have not a cake, but a handful of meal in a barrel, and a little oil in a cruise. And behold, I am gathering two sticks, that I may go in and dress it for me and my son that we may eat it and die. Yes. Thus in the reading of God's holy word, I won't talk about it ain't time to die. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. On time. It ain't time to die. All right. This familiar, this familiar text to Bible readers and church goers speaks yet volumes to us today in a time of crisis. Although confronted with a famine in the land and resources had just about run out this widow woman was making preparation for her and her son to eat and die. God Almighty. Because the famine in this land had stripped them down to their very last. And I believe somebody up in here knows something about being down to your last. How often many of us been down to our very last Amen. and wanted to simply give up. Amen. Throw in the towel or just die. And today the word of the Lord come to us saying it ain't time to die. Uh, it ain't time to give up. Neither is it time to throw in the towel. I wish I had a cosign up in here. Regardless of the situation, always remember that God has the last word. Yes. Right. 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 And, and in 2014, there might, there might be a famine in the land. Yeah. And somebody might be on the verge of running out. And all you can think about is dying. Either a natural death or just find yourself in a dying spirit. Right. Has anybody ever been like that? You right. know? Yeah. I, I believe in such walking dead. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We are walking but no life. Yeah. 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 This woman had decided she did all she could, Glory. used all that she had, and was going to use the last of it. Eat and die. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I come to tell you this morning, it ain't time to die. Somebody in here, somebody, somebody up in here right now have already decided that if it wasn't for bad luck, you wouldn't have any luck at all. But I come to tell you, it ain't time to die. You, you might even be at your very end. 
but it ain't time to die. And so I see three things in the text that I want to lift up and then I'm going to make my exit. Anybody interested? Listen, the first thing is, watch this, watch this. The first thing is, if touch your neighbor, touch your neighbor, say, say neighbor, neighbor, if you thinking about it, this going to help you. All right. The first thing is, follow God's lead to where life is. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Though confronted with death, God will lead us to life. God had already predicted the famine by causing it not to rain. And he sent Elijah to the brook Cherith to hide and God provided for him there by the brook. Water and the ravens brought him food. Every day morning and night God provided for Elijah but Elijah had to follow God's lead to where there was life. But there, there, there the brook ran dry. And sometimes I kind of just talk to us for a few minutes is that, is that when God leads us to life sometimes you can't park there. Right. Oh, somebody missed that. Right. Because some of us give up on God when our brooks run dry. Yeah. But God, yeah, yeah, yeah. He still leads us to life because he tells Elijah, get up. Yeah. I know the brook done run dry, but I got another life sustaining place for you. There is a widow who will sustain you. So you got to get up. Don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop having a pity party because your brook done run dry because I'm more than brook. I'm more than water. I'm God trying to tell you where life is. He's trying to tell you where life is. And, oh, I feel it right there. I feel it right there. Some of y'all say, well, Lord, I didn't come to church and I found life so I thought, but I've been here a while and look like the brook done run dry. God is saying, I still have life for you. You just got to follow my lead. Touch your neighbor, touch your neighbor, say neighbor. neighbor. I hope y'all feel touchy this morning. <laughs> Let's say, say neighbor. 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 Sometimes, Sometimes you gotta be the church <laughs> when you ain't at church. Because some of us, some of us is caught up in this building, but, but ain't no life in this building. No. We are the church. Stop. 
sticks. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And, and he says, uh, go fetch me some water. Yeah. 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 And she turns to go, but then he says, but bring me something to eat too. Well, uh -huh. and, and the woman, the woman, the woman began to say to him, Sir, as the Lord God liveth, I ain't got nothing. Yeah. Well, All I have is just enough meal yeah. and enough oil to make one little whole cake. Yeah. Yeah. And then me and my boy are going to eat it and die. Yeah. Well, but God uh, say it, say it. told him yeah. that there's a widow. Yeah. yeah. That shall sustain him. Can I tell you? Sometimes what God has for you don't look like it's for you. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I wish I had a co-signer right there. Sometimes the way it looks, it looks like it's not going to help you. But God, I'm trying to tell you, yeah. if God leads you there, you will find life right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Elijah, he's there. And some of y'all, some of y'all looking at me right now, God is telling you go. Yeah. And some of y'all is looking at where God told you to go, and you don't see no life there. But I come to tell you that with man, yeah. it might seem impossible. Yeah. But with God, all yeah. things are possible. Yeah. And you got to follow God's lead. Can I get a witness? Yes. Well, I wish I knew somebody up in here who prayed before you went in H-E-B. Yeah. Because you only had about 20 bucks. Yeah. And if the truth be told, it should have went in your gas tank. Yeah. All right. But God knew about you and your family. I wish yeah. I knew somebody right there. Yeah. And you just was obedient enough to God. Anybody up in here? I wish I knew somebody yeah. up in here. You in H-E-B, you trying to count. Yeah. You you put stuff in the basket, going down two or three aisles, you taking stuff out of the basket, trying to put something back in the basket, because you trying to count it. Yeah. I wish I knew somebody yeah. up in here besides me. And when you get to the counter, you all nervous. Now, you done lost count, but you prepared to tell them to take something off. But God, but God, hey, but God. To where there is life. Yeah. And can I tell you, can I tell you, if you follow God's lead, uh -huh. God Almighty, God Almighty, God, God will always see you through. Yes, he will. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, that's why you all not get caught up in where you are. Mm -hmm. I tell folk all the time, don't, don't get upset because they repoed the car. Yeah. <laughs> There are more cars. Right, right. And since we ain't living in the 30s and the 40s, yeah. you can get stuff with bad credit. Yeah, yeah. Right. right. Oh, I should have got right. a cool sign all right there. I, yeah. I, 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 you, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know some of us are, some of us, some of us looked at 2013 and at the beginning you said, this is going to be my year. <laughs> But as the months went by, uh -huh. and down toward the close, you said, well, well, 2013 wasn't my year, but 2014, 20, 2014 is going to be my year. Listen, any year can be your year as long as you got God and you following his lead. Well, I wish I had a cool sign right there. Yeah. And so sometimes, yeah, we are confronted with death. We are confronted with tough times. We are confronted when things get rough. But I dare you to follow God's yeah. lead. Right. He will lead you to life. But then the second thing, the second thing, the second, second thing is don't pronounce the benediction so quickly. Uh -huh. I see it in the text. Listen, listen to this widow woman. As the Lord God liveth, I have no cake, but a handful of meal in a barrel, and a little oil in the cruise, and behold, I'm gathering two sticks, that I may go in and dress it for me and my son, and behold, I'm gathering these two sticks, that, that we may eat and die. 
And she, she, she was focusing on living at, yeah, 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 yeah. She was focusing on dying at this point and not focusing on living. Yeah. And some of us pronounce benediction when it ain't over. Right, right, right. Can I tell you, can I tell you, just because you're having a hard time don't mean it's over. Right. Job, right. Job, can you talk to us for a minute? Job, Job, talk to us. Job said, I have it all. Yeah. I was envious of other men, but one day, yeah. one day I lost it all. I mean, everything I had, I lost it, but I knew it wasn't over. Right. Right. That's why Job could shave his head and get down in sackcloth and ashes and say, the Lord give it yeah. and the Lord take it away. And some of us Some of y'all, some of y'all, some of y'all want to die. Just because, listen, there's power in the tongue. Yes, it is. Yeah. And some of us ought to quit pronouncing death on us uh -oh, and our children. This woman said, oh yeah, I'm going to get this thing here. This woman said, we going to eat it and die. And there are a lot of parents who feel that Nothing. Your children ain't going to be nothing. But, but that's not so. Because if you put this thing in God's hand, I wish I knew some parents up in here that would tell you, I want more for my children. I'm not going to pronounce benediction on my child because he or she got a better chance in life than I did. I refuse. We try to operate by our time clock. Our, yeah. our day, but I come to tell you, it ain't over. Yeah. Till God says yeah. it's over. Yeah. And if some of y'all ain't church, it ain't over till the fat lady sing. <laughs> and I come to tell you, she ain't even on the program. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And too many of us pronounce benediction too soon. Yeah. And just give up. Listen, can I tell you? It ain't too late to go to school. Right. That's right. Right. Yeah, that's right. Right. It ain't too late. No. Start over again. That's right. Yeah. Don't you just have a pity party. Come on. Say it. And act like things are not gonna ever change. Yeah. Sometimes it's not the thing that needs to change, it's you. Yeah. Right. Matter of fact, matter of fact, matter of fact, I don't mean to, I don't mean to put my family out on out on front street, but there there used to be times my mother single parent with six beautiful children. Oh, I just thought I'd throw that one in there. <laughs> and we had some hard times. Yeah, y'all yeah, don't hear yeah. me. We had some hard we had some hard times where that we mama would be crying. Because we didn't have enough. Yeah. But then, well, Mama used to ask us, who all want pancakes? Yeah. On a night. Well, you know, pancakes, breakfast meal. Yeah. But when you ain't got nothing, yeah. you gotta know how to work with what you got. Yeah. Uh, hello, somebody. Yeah. And then she would just she would say, what size do y'all want? Yeah. Six children and she would cook them based on some of us wanted the little silver dollar ones, some of us wanted the big ones, so it fill up the whole cake. And little did we know that was all we had, but mama didn't make it sick. So I don't get this thing right here. You got to stop pronouncing the benediction over you and your child. Yeah. And so 
and you gotta stop pronouncing the benediction too soon. Yeah. yeah. Woo. yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. She just got it. Hmm. Yeah. You just got it. Hmm. You just gotta know how to trust God yeah. and stop trusting in yourself. Yeah. Can, can I get a witness? All right. Yeah. Elijah said, God already told Elijah. Yeah. That a widow was going to sustain him. So he told her, I hear what you're saying. Yeah. But go do it like I told you to do. Alright. And I might, I might, since I'm here, and it's pastors pre-anniversary, <laughs> I might throw a blow again for the past. <laughs> you better stop bypassing the word that comes from God through him. Yeah. Yeah. Because God is trying to tell you right now, it ain't over until I say it's over. I, I don't care how bad, I don't care how broke you are, yeah. I don't care how lonely you are, I don't even care how sick you are, it's not diabetes. So what? You got a heart problem. So what? You got to deal with cancer. God still has the last word. Yes, he does. I wish I knew somebody up in here that had, that I wish I knew somebody up in here who had a spiritual checking account. those of y'all who write hot checks. <laughs> I'm talking about a spiritual. Yeah. Oh, y'all not, y'all yeah. I mean, you, you got just enough in there to cover everything. Yeah. But everything ain't coming through. Right. Oh, I wish right. I knew somebody. You, yeah. you, you wrote the check last week and the person still ain't deposited. God giving you a little long time. Yeah. Because you pray. Oh, I wish yeah. I knew somebody. Anybody up here, you done wrote it, and you done wrote for the light bill and the gas bill, and you praying that they both don't come at the same time because it ain't enough in there for both of them, but you done talk, you done had a little talk with Jesus, and, I, and you just saying if he can just wait till the fifth, I thought, if he can just wait till the fifth, oh, I wish I knew somebody, one of them go through on the third and you still praying, you But you done got pain on the field. Yeah. God is saying, don't you pronounce benediction too quickly. So y'all just then decided, uh, uh, it's too late for me. Uh, I guess I ain't going to be happy. It just... It's too late for me. I, I ain't supposed to be happy. I, I ain't gonna find, you know, you know, I think I've shared with y'all before a friend of mine. Right. A friend of mine prayed to me, called me and said, said, uh, uh, Melvin, I need you to pray for me that the Lord send me a hug. I, 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 need, I need me a hug. You know, fault is never been married before. Good job making good money. <laughs> and she's saying, I, I, cause I done tried it, I, just went, I said, I said to her, sugar, at your age, quit looking for Mr. Perfect and sell for Mr. Will Do. Pronouncing benediction. You up here waiting on your Billy D. Williams when it might be the speech bar with no teeth. I'm just like, So you gotta be careful that you don't pronounce benediction too quickly. Cause, cause 
comes. Don't you know that he's still God? Whether you get it or not. Yeah, yeah, he's still God. You might not ever get the new car, but he's still God. You, you might not ever own no two-story home, but he's still God. Yeah. Hello, somebody. You might not ever get to be the manager. You might not ever own your own company, but it's still God. Yeah. And sometimes, y'all, we are pronouncing the benediction and bringing death upon ourselves because we are trusting in ourselves and not him. Yeah. Yeah. So this woman says, look, look, I know what you're asking for, but uh, look here. That's our last meal. Well, we gonna eat it and die. Yes, well, oh, I know I'm talking to somebody. Cause somebody up in here right now, you ain't happy, well, and you just done decided you ain't supposed to be happy. Well, yeah. Yeah. You done pronounced benediction on your own life, but I come to tell you, she's still on the throne. Yes, Can I get a witness? Yes, Listen, follow God's lead to where there is life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't be quick to pronounce the benediction in your life. And then the third thing, the third thing, listen, why don't you just live and not die? Learn how to live and not die. Exercise your faith and not your fear. Elijah made this request to the widow yeah. whose response was incorporated with fear. Yeah. I'm gathering mm -hmm. two sticks uh -huh. so that I can dress it uh -huh. well. and eat our last meal and die. Yeah. Well. And Elijah said unto her, fear not uh -huh. And go and do as thou hast said. Yeah. Yeah. But make me there a, other, a little cake first. Yeah. Uh -huh. And bring it to me. Yeah. Well. And then after, make for thee and thy son. Yeah. Well. Can I tell you that fear well. is a killer? Uh -huh. All by yourself. Too many times um, we're not doing what God requires of us. Because fear has set in. But I come to tell you, stop living um, a dead life. And start living um, a life that is uh, living.
Thank you. Thank you. Somebody's in a dying spirit. If you receive this word, you can live. God sent his son Jesus to die. So that we could live. Jesus said, I am come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundant. And I don't care he died. He was buried. But early the third day in the morning, God raised him up. So that we could live. You can live. It don't matter about your past. Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah. All God is concerned about is your present state yeah. right now. Yeah. And if you are in a dying spirit, yeah. I come to tell you, you can accept life by accepting Jesus Christ. Yeah. The doors of my father's house is